Hey guys, hope everything's going well. You guys know that drill. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and comment down below. Follow me on Instagram at AIH underscore sports. Follow me on my finance channel at AIH Finance. Alrighty, I wanted to ask you guys this question. You could jot it down below. Is the F1 dump happening right now? That's right. The pumping in my opinion, was going on, and now the dump, where you may have these influencers start to unload all of their F1 cars. I am curious to see what you have to say about that. So in all these uh, sports cards, you know it from people with at least a few years of experience. What they say is that, hey, look, uh, you want to buy all of these sports cards during the off season and then you want to sell basically right before the season starts and for the cards that go up during the season those are the guys that are exceeding expectations okay Cooper Cup for instance in the playoffs last year uh, there was a few other individuals as well if you want to look at the NBA you got to look at DeMar DeRozan. He's been exceeding expectations. Tom Brady, to a certain extent, exceeded expectations, and his sports cards went up. So now with F1, I've noticed that the influencers, they're just, some of them are just a bit egregious, or it's just egregious in regards to what they're doing. On their Instagram channel just posting time in and time out and yeah, I told you this one story of this one person on Instagram uh, based on the conversation they had with a subscriber of mine that yeah they're basically trying to unload all these cards and they just want to sell basically to their subscribers so you know they, they could just make money off this pump and dump but I want to ask you guys again is that dump happening right now the season is starting and you see all of this promotion all this marketing even some corporations are getting behind this they're promoting individuals that are talking about f1 and uh, right before the season starts i think is probably the worst time to buy cards unless uh, you correctly predict the player that is going to exceed expectations that that's just um, what I've noticed and now the market has normalized uh, a few things uh, Lewis Hamilton's uh, chrome cards right I was just looking at some of them PSA 10 I think it's a refractor that 2020 card in 2021 uh, based on the data that I looked at PSA that card was think around 5500 bucks it went down to 3700 bucks right now okay that was what may of last year the purple refractor card based on one sale that i saw the 2020 card it there's only one sale so that's not liquid or some people would say that's uh, very price or it's elastic right price elastic whatever you want to call it there's no volume i don't like cards or stocks with no volume so one of the sales went for fourteen thousand dollars i swear i saw in probstein a sale it was like forty four thousand dollars for a rock card i i don't know whether that's legit or not some people maybe money laundering that's what some people have suggested w whatever it is it's crazy now uh, you have uh, Drake getting in the ball game of sports, and I believe he's also in that one game. But you see this news, and you see these influencers, and all of this is coming before. And in terms of the stock market, I've noticed this uh, quite a bit. I'm going to end on this, is that whenever the media is aggressively pushing one side of the trade, whether it's fear there was a lot of fear in the media in the last couple of weeks 
and it died down the last week. But regardless, when you have all that fear and you're in a bull market, you, you probably don't want to be selling, right? Once again, I'm not telling you what to do uh, with a particular stock, but for me, I, I really didn't want to be selling when everyone was fearful. Now, on the other hand, when everything is rosy and positive and optimistic, that's probably the worst time to buy. Look at cards in 2021. Not a good time to buy for the most part. And this is in February and March. Yeah, some people have definitely made money. But at the same time, this influencer, this hyping game, while some people make money, some people, someone messaged me on Instagram today, you know, about FIFO, first in, first out. You're the first one in, oh, you're the first one out, you make good money. Just like with Gary Vee's uh, new product. You're the first one in, you bought it at 2100 and you're able to sell it $15,000, congratulations. How many people are going to be making money when they bought it at $15,000? It could continuously go higher. It's just a game of musical chairs. You're just rolling the dice. That's just not my cup of tea. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think about F1. Is that dump happening right now? Is this going to be like uh, what happens in terms of football cards, right? Cards go up right before the season. Season starts, cards go down. See that with basketball as well. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, com comment, excuse me, and comment down below. All right, guys, bye.